Here we go. We get to see this launch. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Okay. We got that. Now what I want to do is improve the throughput of copper. We need another smelter like right beside it. We need another constructor. Oh, we need some other resource that I don't have yet. Let's do that. We need these reinforced iron plates so we can make more constructors. That takes what what is this? Oh, those are screws. We haven't automated screw production just yet. So we need to get on that. That should be enough. And then we'll get these reinforced iron plates. So we should be able to make three more constructors. We'll have to make those parts manually until we can automate them. And this is why I put this space here. So I can add these logistics. Merger. goes this way. And we'll merge it like this. And then we place a splitter over here. Connect these, and then oh, we need a power line here. Power pole, I should say. Okay, these turn. Oh, we already have these set. So this is oh, not working yet. There we go. So we have these iron ingots going to this thing, and then into here. The next thing I want to do, oh, I also need to make an equipment workshop so that I can make more portable miners because that is the ingredient for making, uh, what's it called, the uh, miners, portable miners. What the hell am I saying? Oh, this is lined up. I don't actually want this here. Okay, equipment workshop. Why? Can't you? Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter reentry complete. Gonna line it like this. Ah, uh, that works. Don't actually need to be in here, but it's fine. Yeah, we'll just carry two more of these. Oh, I also need to set the next milestone. Oh, field research. Extra hand slot. And extra inventory slots. Yeah, I need this. So we need, we need to automate parts first before we can get to that. Oh, hi there. You're a friendly creature, aren't you? Ok, 
Okay, so we'll get MK1 miner up in here. Want this in the same orientation. Kind of hard to tell though. Okay, so it's in the same orientation as this one. We get our smelters, two smelters. Oh, first, let's get the split splitter. There we go. And then we will put two smelters. Side by side, except, wow. Okay. All right, you do that game. Then two constructors. Can't afford, God. All right, give me some more cables. I can make 10 more cables, let's make all of them. And then we'll just take the cables from here. Before I go any further, let's connect these. Just to make sure they can connect, and they can. Oh, I actually need two more constructors. So we need to make parts and four reinforced iron plates. We need 24 screws, I believe. Oh, we need 48. We need another 24. Oh shit. We need more iron plates. Can I make the iron plates? No, I can't. All right, so let's, you know what, let's make the constructor first. Can't afford these anyway. All right, let's go back then. As we will get some more iron plates and iron rods. Okay, we also need to increase the production of our iron plates. Then go back to our workbench here. Crafting bench or, yeah, craft bench. Make the last iron plate here. Oh, we need more cables. Before we can automate cables, we need to make them manually. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, let's line them up. Come on. Come on. Here. Here we go. Okay, we'll set this to wires and then cables. 
wires and cables. And then we'll put them in a container. Or we need to put a split, not a splitter, merger. That's what I'm looking for. And finally, the storage. Uh, needs to go the other way. There we go. Now to power these things up. There we go. Now it's hooked up. And we hook up these power lines. And hopefully we have enough power. Wait. Do we have enough power for everything? And did I set this to smelt copper ingots? No, I don't. I didn't. Now it's set. So this should be working now. And then sooner or later, we will have some extra cables. Okay, for the time being, let's just bring this over here up these resources and we just need parts is that you I just noticed it has a really small head really large body I shouldn't stand there should I okay well anyway I'm going to go and do this. Now we do need to go on smelting here. Wait, how much power are we using? You know what? Let's let's just make some biomass. Just so we can stay on top of this. I guess we can get rid of the leaves. Okay, that should be good enough now. Just make sure everything's stocked up. Yeah, everything is fine. Okay, so our generators are stocked up. Let's continue building this. Like, we can put one more smelter here. And then another constructor. Oh, that's right. I need reinforced iron plates. You know what? I should just make maybe roughly 72 screws and then we'll be able to make six iron plates which is three constructors that should be enough to get screws going you know we do need iron plates hmm is this going to be in the way 
We're missing cables. And we do need to move that power pole. So, okay, let's go back over here. Eighty cables. Wait, double check to make sure everything's working properly. Yeah, cable, cable. Wires, good. Iron ingots, good. Everything is moving smoothly. By the way, I should probably mention I'm I am aware of the different purity levels of the resource nodes. I know that one resource node can support one smelter, two resource nodes can support two or the normal resource nodes can support two smelters, and the pure nodes can support three smelters. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be taking advantage of here. Okay, so... Put the constructor down. Constructor down here. And we need to remove this. Replace it with a splitter. Wait, no, what am I thinking? The hell is wrong with me? I need a merger. Conveyor. What? Okay, uh, how am I screwing up something so simple? A merger. How is this possible? Do I need to be extending this? Yeah, dismantle this. Let's get the merger in here. Oh. Okay, let's put back the storage. It's a good thing we're fixing this somewhat early. Before we have a whole bunch of resources in here. Now we do need to add another power pull. Yeah, I know it looks kind of weird because it's like right next to each other, but maintaining this practice, one power pull per uh, thingamabob that needs to be powered. Okay, just connected here. Now we do need to deal with this. Now let's put a and there we go. This is an iron ingot, goes in there, and this is iron plates. Like we don't need to deal with uh, iron rods just yet. But for now, I want to make sure everything is being produced correctly. So here comes the iron ingots, it goes in here, out comes iron plates, hopefully. There we go. So we just doubled our production of iron plates. 
How much power are we using now? Okay, we're at roughly... It peaked at around 80-something megawatts. So we do need to add additional biomass reactors. Might as well collect all of these. Okay, miner. I'm gonna make sure these are aligned. Okay, now it's aligned. Put this here. Smelters. Or let's do do this in order. Conveyor splitter. Put the... Where are you? Two smelters. Side by side. And then we'll put the constructors... Side by side. Wait, first... Uh, this is for parts, by the way. One... Two. Make sure this is able to connect first. Okay, and a merger. Finally, a storage. And can this connect? Yes. So we'll just set these to smelt copper ingots first, then iron rod, iron screw, and then it goes into this container. Okay, let's put down the power poles. One, two, three. I need concrete. And we bring our concrete over here, which is nice. I just need one stack. And we do need to do something about the iron rods. Okay, so... Wait, what was I doing? Shit. I really forgot what I was doing. Okay. So we were doing this, this. You know, just in case. We'll just connect the pole like so. All right, we have automated parts. Now we should seriously consider adding more bioreactors. Oh, biomass burners. Okay. Two more should do it. There we go. Let's add the biomass. Now eventually we will have to automate the creation of biomass as well. But the problem with biomass is that we have to manually collect it. 
It's not until coal power that we completely automate our power. So that's a long way off. I never even got to coal power before. Okay, that should do it for now. Some rods. Do we have parts? Do we have parts yet? What the hell is going on? Uh. Oh. Wow, I can't believe I forgot that. Move this here, move this here. Okay, that's connected, that's connected, and that's connected. So in the meantime, I'll just manually create parts. Just so we have more reinforced iron plates. I need 48. No oh, wait, 96. Yeah, 96. We'll have eight reinforced iron plates. Now eventually we do need to automate reinforced iron plates, but for that we will need to... Hmm. Or we can do it here. I mean, really, what's actually stopping us from doing it here? Okay, so anyway, constructor. Another constructor. Floor is too steep. Okay, then. Show you floor is too steep. Yeah, let's just do that. Goes in here. And that goes in there. Perfect. Let's connect this as well. And put down these power poles. Now we'll need to get some more cables. Let's just put power pole here. And connect it like so. This'll work. Now we're turning these into iron rods. And then we're turning the iron rods into screws. Now again, if I really wanted to, I can use these existing ingredients and turn it into reinforced iron plates. But then I'd be low on those resources when I need them. We're already producing lots of these. You know, while I'm waiting, I'll just manually craft Iron plates. Or not iron plates, screws. Because why not? We have lots of rods. It'll just make things go a lot faster if I just did this. And you know what? I'm bored. <laughs> Let's just go. Collect some more parts. Get these screws over here. Damn, this re thing really is slow. But wait, is there a bottleneck here? Or something? 
Yeah, it looks like there is. Kinda. So slowing down over here, but okay, I guess that's fine. How many screws do we have? 304. We can launch it now. Milestone reached. The molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, will allow R&D to provide new technologies, items, and buildings based on samples collected in the field. To ensure a greater chance of success during exploration, an upgraded tool belt has been provided, as well as an object scanner and beacons. Note, the object scanner requires calibration via the MAM to enable detection of specific objects. All right, so we're done that. Uh, we should maybe get a stack of these wires just in case. And then, actually, you know what? Let's just add this now. Like we have to wait for the pod to return. Oh, so I can't add the resources. I have to wait for the pod to return before I can add anything. So while that's happening, how is our power consumption? We're at 110 megawatts out of 160. 